This has been my favorite all year. Best hair so far. I got this as a gift from my friend Candy. And it instantly became my favorite. This has been the one this year. This is number one. This is the one. This is my favorite one. This one is the one I've worn the most. It's my signature. Everything I've had so far this year. My favorite, favorite, favorite. For me, this one is what I what I what I love. The color, the style, the length, the body. I love the curl pattern. I like these little bangs. I love that in the front. And I really haven't seen anyone wear it that way. So I kind of just... So mine came with the bangs that just kind of came down this way. And at first I was wearing them kind of off the face like this. And that reminded me of what I loved so much about the original editor's pick. It doesn't disappoint. And this is what I love about it. Except one thing. The heat defiant fibers. I've been very careful with it. I don't wear it on windy days. And I gently, gently, gently try to keep the curls intact. I love everything about it. After I did my review, I went online. What I saw was it worn in so many different ways, I, I didn't even know if it was the same one. Yeah. So in all this time, I've been so careful, but it's... It became just one big massive curl this way and this way, and it, it didn't have its separation, the individual separation, and started to look really wiggy. I gave it a really good rinsing to get all the sweat off the ear tabs and off the back of the neck and inside the cap to get it nice and clean. And then I layered it up with all of the bamboo silicone mix, put her in a baggie. I'm still fairly new at the bamboo silicone mix treatment process, which is why I haven't made a video yet. But my experience was less than impressed with the way this came out. It just didn't come out the way that I anticipated it would. It didn't come out like the way the synthetics do. It didn't come out any different than it was when it went in. But it's still wonderful and it's still my favorite. And so what I have been wanting to do is create this in the other styles that I've gotten to get the same look. So. Another gift that Candy sent me was Enticing by Tony Breton. And I thought the color was really close to the Sestetica color. And I got so many compliments on this. The reason that these styles are so good is they'll go from the heat of summer, where you're wearing short sleeves and tank tops, in, right into winter, where you're wearing your winter coats. And I can see that it's got bangs. And so because this is heat friendly too, I can make these like bright and then I can have two. Because what I really love about this is this is Shady Biscuit. Everyone's favorite bond. Brighton. It has the bangs. And the way that I see the bangs, the bangs seem to go up like that. See how they have it goes up? And I feel like if I took some heat right in here to these and bend them straight up, they might cascade down like that does. That's my goal today. So what I want to do is way. All the ones that are not going to be in the heat process. And I probably should not do this on my head, but it's the only 
way that I, I feel really sure that I got it the way I want it. Gosh, I hope it works. It has a, a settings on it so I can make sure I don't move over the recommended amounts of heat. As far as bangs go, that's going back pretty far. Let's see, I feel that this isn't going back as far, but if I go back any farther, I don't want the long ones. I don't want the long ones. So if I just follow this back, I should just get the white ones here. Oh, it's close to my forehead. Oh my gosh. I feel like if I were younger, it might be this might be a real fun process, but I think because I know the value of these wigs and I'm not finding much joy in this. I'm impatient, I guess. That might be, that might be something. I'm not gonna mess with that one. I don't want to hit the ends at all. I don't want to like go all the way down to the end because they look good right there. Just trying to like back it out, like, like go back so it'll have a good bend in it when I let go like that, like that. And then maybe hold it back like that. Anxiety. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's that's getting somewhere. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We shall continue. Cross. Can I put I, I I can feel myself now getting into the perfection territory where I can't leave it alone. It's probably good right where it's at, and I just I can't stop. I can't stop. been doing this since fourth grade. The fourth grade. I know there's not a fourth grader out there right now with a curling iron. At least anything like this. But when I was in the fourth grade, it was 1977. And hair was a big deal. Well, I'm, I'm going to just leave it at this. The thing I'm going to like a lot more about this Tony Bratton too is that it's not a lace front. I mean, the way that I wear it, I don't, I don't need the lace front. The lace front gets itchy and gummy. I think I did it. I think the key is getting it hot, the heat where it needs to be, which is low, low on the, on down here, without melting all the permatease, and then the, and then the, the cool off, the cool off. I think it's, it's quite critical. I think I did exactly what I wanted. I think I did it.